So have you ever strapped a thing that you love to a car going 50, 60 miles an hour in the name of filmmaking? That's where this comes in. The Fat Gecko car clamp, or it's just a clamp, it doesn't necessarily have to be a car, it can be a window pane, it can be anything, any sort of flat surface it can suction onto. Um, this last week, during lockdown, I helped a couple of friends make a, a music video, um, and I clamped the Panasonic GH5S to the front of their car, and we kind of sped around South London. <laughs> It's not the first time I've done this, using that the Gecko car clamp. Uh, I've done it uh, at least once before. Last year I shot a music video in Biarritz, in the south of France. Again, using the exact same system as the GH5S and the, the Gecko car clamp. The Ritz shoot that I did last year was much along the same lines. We hired a, a vintage Volkswagen, uh, I think it's called a Carmen Gear, which is basically a Volkswagen Beetle with a different body. We hired that in the south of France in Biarritz and again I clamped the GH5S to the bonnet, to the sides, to the windscreen, uh, a few different angles to try and, you know, as, as extra footage for this music video and uh, as with that time and with this time, it's never a nice experience. It's not something... You know, I would, I mean, I've done it twice now and every second of it, I was kind of panicking. Even though I trust the clamp pretty well, I mean, it's pretty strong. You could hang my own weight off it, more or less, if you hung it onto the ceiling. I'm sure I could hang from it, such as the power of the suction cups, but still, um, it's not something I would want to do often. Um, would have been great to use something like the, the Blackmagic Cinema camera for this, but it's just too big and heavy and the Ursa Mini absolutely no way uh, I'd need a much more sturdy clamp um, and also this clamp it's only got two su suction cups it's only really made for a DSLR it's not really uh, made for anything bigger and it doesn't have any suspension built into it or give so when you go over any bumps in the road I mean it's not perfect really I mean it's only it's a $50 clamp I mean I'm putting a two grand camera on a $50 clamp and I've done it twice now and I've got away with it I don't know if I want to do it a third time lens I used for this was the vintage Canon 17mm which which is f4 it's pretty slow I think I've talked about it before on a, another episode about um, I mean that lens I have very few and far between uses for it um, I did have the Lauer 8.5 or 7.5 it's a very wide angle micro four thirds lens native to the GH5S but I sold it a few years ago because I mean again I've kind of, I went through a stage early on of really trying to find the widest lens possible. And in certain circumstances, it is, you know, it's a nice look, but I think I got more into kind of just slightly longer focal lengths, like 24. 24 on a 50 is really all you need, I think. Uh, but on this occasion, I did regret not having the Lauer. You'll find shots like this all over the place in cinema and in music videos. And if you've got the balls, <laughs> Not saying that I have, I've just, I'm able to switch my brain off for a couple of hours and pray that things are going to be okay. Um, but if you're prepared to do it, it's a, it's a fantastic cinematic technique, I suppose you could say. It's very simple. You just need a very dependable clamp, a light enough camera, or a big enough ca uh, clamp with a heavy camera. Um, 
and away you go and you live wherever you live if you live in the country if you live in the city uh, I think that locked on shot that traveling shot um, is very attractive it's very appealing but as I've said it does come with you know a few a few panicky issues One of my favourite films that features this technique exclusively pretty much is Locke, starring Tom Hardy. It was out six or seven years ago. And it features only Tom Hardy driving in his car from central London to a hospital outside of London. Um, and every single shot is a, I think, like, you know, a car clamp shot. A lot of it's from the outside, some of it's from the inside. Uh, but films like that, it's, this isn't original, an original idea by me, and it's happened a lot in music videos. Uh, in fact, it was the guys who I made the video for who wanted to do this because it was a simple kind of music video that we could, you know, we could complete in a couple of hours. It was just, was I prepared to risk my precious GH5S, which admittedly may be looking at, you know, it's maybe going to be used a bit less now I've got the Ursa Mini, but still. I don't want it to be dashed across the motorway at 50 miles an hour and I never see it again. That would be a very sad end. One of the guys I follow on YouTube, uh, Greats Media, or Greatsy, he's an Australian guy and he's um, he's documented uh, his time, he's just got the red Komodo and he's doing a lot of kind of traveling shots with it and clamping it to the car. And I think there's one episode where <laughs> he hadn't screwed the, the clamp on correctly onto the camera and the camera and the lens and etc came crashing to the floor you know going at speed that's always the concern but the komodo being a crash camera it survived i think the lens was okay as well fortunately in my circumstance the gh5s was fine the clamp was perfect thankfully um that's really the main thing i just wanted to reflect and give thanks to the clamp and be grateful that the gh5s which i'm using now i film all the the blog stuff on the gh5s I'm glad that it's still with me and I'm glad that I didn't kiss it goodbye on the motorway in South London. Mm -hmm.